How many birds live around your home? I'm Callum from the University of Hull, and for this World Environment Day, I'm inviting you to join me in counting birds in your garden or local green space, and to submit your sightings to our iNaturalist project, Time BioBlitz. Our first step is to make sure there's a reason for birds to visit. A very simple way to do this is to provide water for drinking and bathing. Here, I've used a large plant saucer to create a bird bath. Make sure it's on a firm, slightly raised base. I'm taking advantage of a manhole cover in my lawn. Place some stones or gravel to make sure that small animals and insects can climb out safely. Finally, fill your new bird bath with fresh, clean water from a hose pipe or tap. This might take a while. If you want to go further, why not provide food as well? Most pet food shops sell a range of bird feeders. Or, for a bit of a project, you could make your own. Here, I followed the RSPB's instructions to make a feeder from an old milk bottle, a pencil, and some string. Those instructions are linked in the video description. Fill your new feeder with seed and hang it out somewhere in the garden or in a nearby green space and the birds will soon visit. Lastly, even digging over a border to provide fine, loose soil can attract birds. And now, just wait for them to arrive. This young sparrow wasn't sure about the bird bath, but a starling quickly got the idea. Now the birds are visiting, let's try to count them. When counting birds, it's important to remember that they can fly away and come back again. So try to use the bird's feathers or plumage to tell individuals apart. This adult male house sparrow is definitely a different individual to the juvenile who visited earlier. So we have two house sparrows now. A standard bird survey method is to record the maximum number of individuals seen at one time over a one hour time period. Because you're counting the largest group that you see of each bird species in the hour, you can be certain that you aren't counting anybody twice. Once you've counted birds for an hour, please send us your results on iNaturalist. Watch Emma's bug hunt video for full instructions on how to do this. To tell us how many individuals of each bird species you saw, search for a field called Maximum Number of Individuals Seen at One Time During an Hour and enter the number there. Of course, there's no limit to how many counts you can do. Or if you'd prefer, just sit and enjoy your new neighbours. As long as you keep providing water, food or dust bath opportunities, the birds will keep returning. and you never know who might show up for a drink. Even in my small suburban garden, this hedgehog has been visiting our homemade bird bar every few nights since we set it up. I hope you enjoy getting to know your garden birds and wildlife a bit better for World Environment Day. Please let us know how you got on by sharing your observations in our iNaturalist project. Good luck!